Right, right. Where the hell was you going in that man truck? Yeah. All right, so honestly, all right, so you know the Hennessy. Mm. It got me motivated for real. Okay, so I came. It was just like, all right, let me uh, let me go check on this thing because he not what the fuck he not answering for. Then like, cause we just was talking, and then all of a sudden he go, in my ass, so it got me fucked up. So I go to the crib. First I was sneaking through the broken glass I already broke through. So I cut myself. I'm like, oh shit. I didn't even know I cut myself till I got upstairs. So then I see him like, oh shit, butt ass naked in a blanket. So I'm looking at yo like <laughs> 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 Okay. So I Ray I Ray really sucked yo up, but then I was just like my my phone <laughs> rang. No, for real, yo. It was like a time in a moment. I'm phone like, oh this is my mother. Hello, mom, what's up? Yeah. It's like shine. He will open the door. She just crying about being outside and shit. And it's like, it really hit my heart for real. Like, I don't really like that. So I just then just started looking at the nigga like he was an enemy to me. Like, but it was really the drunk version of me. I, I could have really just tapped him, say, hey, bro, I need this and that, that. Like, he'll give you everything you ask for. But, like, at the same time, I don't like his manager. I don't like what I'm getting put through. It's like, I was dealing with a lot, like, as a young woman that I, I don't fuck with. Like, Truth be told, yeah, he could be all good and green, but it was shit that I didn't fuck with at the same time. Like, I don't care. It's, it's not green, nigga. You, it's phony. So, long story short, I'm talking to my mother, and he just made me look at him like he was a clown. So, I was just like, y'all got me fucked up. Like, my life got me fucked up. Everybody got me fucked up. If it was up to me, if I had my own car and I was good, nigga, I would take trips faithfully to my mom, nigga. Like, just that's just me. Feel me? I'm not, how am I, why am I fucked up? And I was signed for a year. Like, I'm asking myself, like, huh, he high. So, being drunk, this gives you confidence. I go in the bathroom looking at myself and shit in the mirror, and then I see his pants. <laughs> oh, hell no. Money hanging out, keys hanging out. Like, what the fuck? Like, put the pants on. Like, I'm here. This is how the pocket is supposed to feel. And I got, you know, I'm mad and just spent off and went to Baltimore. Go try it to. Then uh, my homegirl get pulled over. And went, Holy Spirit told me, drive by yourself if you're going to make it. If you drive with a friend, you're going to get stopped. What's up? In my head, I was just like, I low-key want to go to jail. I want to get stopped. I really don't know what I really want. Like I'm just like, I don't know, what? but I can't explain it. Go ahead. I like, it was some shit, like. Did you want that jail sympathy? That's what you wanted. No, nah, yo, no, nah, I wanted to be away from everybody. Everybody that keep calling me, everybody that keep crying, but nobody want to hear my cry. That was a pet. Like, I don't know. And then my friend, she broke, so she not ready. She don't got rich friends like me. I'm going to call. I mean, it's RJ, my plug. Like, hey, bro, can you handle this for me? Ooh, ah, ah. Like, he going to just come for me. Like, like I know who really love me for real, so... I was like, okay, you don't got nobody that fuck with you. <laughs> and then, and the funny thing is, Blue will bail me out. Like, how you, that's how you got out of jail. No, I'm just saying, like, he will bail me out. I just didn't want his help either. I wanted to get myself out of the situation Very without strong, independent black woman type shit. Mm, okay. But yeah, the relationship yeah. with you and Blue now is cool. Y'all, y'all cool. Y'all talk. <laughs> that's okay. We is a hundred percent behind that toxicity. We oh, are okay. For sure. Wait, can I get mm. a shot? Shoot it. <laughs> Double the fun. <laughs> For real, y'all ain't even it. At first I was praying, but this shit is so annoying. I hate my life. Don't say that. Not like that, but it overwhelms me because. Huh? Ooh. Go ahead. Hennessy Take got me feeling some type of way. I just want to drink it. Mm. You got to look at the yeah, good side I'm of so it, too. Right now, this is how I really wanted to talk to y'all. I didn't want to talk to y'all and just come on here and just mm -hmm. waste your money and time. And then, okay, hey, it'd be the industry, bitch. <laughs> Say what's good. That was really going on. Like, that's so fraud. <laughs> like, Stop crying. You messing your makeup up. You was pretty. Stop all that crying. Right. Don't do that. Hey, right. I didn't mean to. But long story short, I really know my worth. And then I be getting frustrated with motherfuckers that don't see me how they're supposed to correctly. I give them a handful, of, like you say, but if you love me, you gonna do it for you. So you're not gonna be like dumbass with it. You gonna dab, don't wipe. Dab. <laughs> 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 
That's crap. I stop making people cry in two seconds. That's what I like. Yeah. Like, ain't ain't nothing ain't nothing wrong with crying though. You just relieving stress and everything that's been in in you or whatever. And then whatever you going through, just learn from it. Whatever you went through, just learn from it and try not to go back to it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Uncle D Brown. He been here twenty eight. He been here forty years. That's okay, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Wipe your tears, wipe your tears. I got some more in my room. Easy, easy. <laughs> it's blue face, baby. <laughs> <laughs> On the wrist. Sorry, okay. blue. I didn't mean for that. This to happen. Why y'all like that? It's okay, man. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get, get the nah, you good. No. Nah. You in Chicago. Only way this interview will get you in trouble is if Wack feels some type of way. Right, man. He hey. probably will, yeah, but. Nigga, he got to come to Chicago. He got to come to Chicago with all that. All that, that nigga old. slid me paperwork, and then when I snitch on him, I'm on shit list. <laughs> so he tried to sound you under blue face, like didn't tell him about it. And just No, to- I'm in the studio. It was after this whole situation. Mine's so sure I'm not getting nobody clout. I went to a studio. I was emotional as fuck. I was mad as shit at Blue. I'm like, this nigga the clown. Everything was a clown. All right, I'm about to make a banger. I'm making a banger. This nigga walk in. Hey, hey. If this, if he was really a man, then he was this. Uh, uh, uh. Then he's like, what's your paperwork talking about? I'm like, I ain't no paperwork. And I didn't mean to say that. I shouldn't have said shit. Like, I should have kept everything to myself between me and Blue. But, like, I'm not thinking everything. Like, I'm very vulnerable with people by accident. Like, Just learn from it. You learn. So, like, I'm learning right now, but, like, Niggas was using my vulnerability and my transparency. Like, being transparent, that's what God wants us to be. Transparent, vulnerable. Yeah. But, like, in, like, a wicked-ass world we live in, that shit is kind of heard of, and I don't like that. So, like, me being who I am, niggas using it against me. So, I'm just like, fuck. Then I snitch on the nigga, like, hey, yeah, you know your manager trying to, ooh, ooh, ooh. Then we all on a three-way call on the phone, like, talking weird shit. And then after that, I never really had a good relationship with that nigga Wack. Like, he just thought I was weird, but I just really think he's jealous. Because yeah. he probably wished that he would have found me first before Blue did. That's how I really feel. Like, that, the, all that other shit he's talking about, Cap, like, you know who I am. Blue know who I am. These guys know who I am. I just need to work on myself. So, like, even if I'm f***ing up, I don't give people a reason. Like, I'm giving people reasons by being who I am, and I don't know how to... Explain that, but at the same time, I'm tired of explaining myself. Like, I'm going to take whatever is mine. I don't give a fuck. So, so. That's why I went to jail and I didn't give a fuck. That's why you took that Jeep. <clears throat> it was yours. Oh, God. 